Hi, my name is Dom, and this is the Heroes Get Remember podcast. With great power, I'm vengeance. Comes great responsibility. Oh, I bet it feels huge in this hand. You are the top. On your left. Iron Man. You're listening to the Heroes Get Remembered podcast. <laughs> That'll work. Oh my god! It looked like a foot. Are you happy? <laughs> Felt like one. <laughs> Should have threw a shoe at your face or something. Maybe. Uh, if you don't know what that intro is from, then I guess I guess that's telling for what what today's episode's all about. My face is on fire now. <laughs> you got hit twice. <laughs> wow, like you that, guys were in sync on that. I like that, that synchronization. Drink. Yeah, <laughs> it was perfect. And here I am, off tempo. <laughs> yeah, with with a fucking Dr. Pepper. Eat my ass. No, thank you. The entire ass. No. Just a nibble. Is that orange? <laughs> Is that orange? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Brandon, did you go back and watch Jackass finally? I uh, I watched clips um, because I have two, gi- uh, two tiny children and one of them understands what I'm watching. So I watched mm. clips on my phone because I didn't want um, them being exposed to um, like Steve-O's balls and shit so yeah th- there's no nudity but okay i thought there was like the, no. the... But, as long as you um, don't watch the unrated version yeah okay well i thought there was nudity see this is why i gotta watch these movies because i have no clue here we are doing a jackass episode and brand has never watched jackass how are we gonna do i've this? seen jackass i've seen the show and i've seen clips i know enough it's about jackasses <laughs> yeah in a nutshell <laughs> yeah anyway did you guys are we, clear? Uh, are we clear did you oh i'm sorry i'm sorry and we're clear yeah like five minutes there in we go. the episode it's well like you know my season finale is, of a tv show where the, my, the intro is just like 10 minutes in my my face on this side is still stinging after i just got punched stinging uh josh stinging. you know he's like enunciating his words so he doesn't sound like he's from chicago yeah, yeah, he's been wow. doing that a lot tonight. Mm. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Only a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what? We have zero participants in this giveaway so far. So it looks like I'm going to keep the prizes for myself. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm going to get it. I don't yeah. take it. I'll no, take it's mine. Board. There's still time. Yeah. Well, we still got what? Two weeks left? Yeah. Three two weeks, isn't weeks. it? Yeah, we can do another. We'll, we'll talk about it at the end of this video too. But for now, we're going to be talking about Jackass, and only two of the three people here tonight have thoroughly been invested in it. Jeez, Boy, I mean, bad grandpa. Not good enough. No, no. Yeah, I got to be honest. Johnny with you. Knoxville, the whole thing. Like, I get, I'm getting tired of the old man stuff. I, I really am. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Well, yeah, they went, I, they I, went a little overboard with it. Talking about going overboard. See what just shot a rocket out of his ass. <laughs> yeah. there's no yeah. nudity we're the good old days this here we go brandon i'm gonna I have to censor this part from uh from our tiktok <laughs> or youtube we'll get YouTube. banned real quick <laughs> just started um, this season with the videos and now we can't we're gonna now, get we're getting, banned. now we're getting shut down <laughs> canceled yeah. i wasn't a huge fan of of the bad grandpa stuff and i mean I, I felt like that was just overdone pretty quickly it was i'll give it the, the i think the first time it did it when when uh what was it spike jones was driving around on his on his wheelchair and he got like his brakes go out and he's just flying down yeah, the hill, down the hill. just bombing down that was hilarious was like wow can we do that again but I don't know, everything else after that was just kind of kind of lame well i get that you know johnny knoxville can't really go out in public and do any kind of like guerrilla shooting as yeah. Johnny Knoxville, so to go undercover like that, but it's it's a it's been enough. Like you can only do so much with the old man skit that it's time to move on. Yeah, oh, I absolutely. think I think they really, I think they really try to make a movie out of it. So like an actual plot line and not just the the gorilla uh, like the pranking shit. Uh, so they actually try to do like a plot driven movie um, with jackass shit. I mean that makes sense. You know, just try to make an actual give an actual storyline from it but uh i don't know i i, I kind of wish that they would have just let that go let it die a little they were i feel it was probably mtv and paramount just trying to milk up a, as much as they could you know yeah i yeah. tell you one thing i did love though it was the um 
well, this is the Spike, the, the Spike Jones part, but it was the, um, was it the second movie with the, with the, with the old lady and her tit falling out? Yeah. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> that was my favorite when she walks up to the artist and they're just hanging. It looks so like, feminine. It looks yeah. so, so feminine. <laughs> so stupid. I did watch. Uh, I did watch some clips and like and uh, man, Ryan Dunn, man. Rest in peace, R.I.P. We're getting we're getting depressing real quick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you're the one that brought it up. Uh, but yeah, a majority of like uh, the best of uh, the best of clips had a lot of Ryan Dunn, and it was uh, just like a. a, a crazy reminder that goddamn this guy was alive not long ago and now well it's been a while now yeah i think it's going on 10 years um i think it yeah. actually surpassed 10 years already um yeah, we were still we were in college for sure were we yeah, yeah. Right. i couldn't remember if, it was, if we were in college not what happened um that it was sad man um i had to just wake trunks up because he's snoring in my ear um yeah i i was that was right he was my favorite character or character favorite jackass star out of all of them and uh hearing about his passing definitely took a took a toll from you know for a little bit he had that show what was that show that he, oh man it's gonna it's gonna oh. eat away at me you remember what i'm talking about on, on, on mtv oh uh like home records or whatever i'm gonna i'm gonna figure out what exactly what it was but yeah it was let's see ryan dunn mtv show um uh, oh it was home record yes yes yeah you're right that was hilarious. Yeah. Well, he also had I another love that show. show. It was uh, it was actually as um, proving ground. Only, right? Yeah, proving ground. That was on G four, yeah. and they only showed like three episodes, and then he died. Yeah, that was um, like I said. He, I, I feel like he he was the the heart of the crew, and after his passing, really, I mean, everybody kind of just started splitting up. Thankfully, for you know, for for the for for the best part, at least in in the, the splitting of it all. Steve got clean. Um, what's his name? I think was it Novak. Novak got clean. And he, Bam's he got in and out of rehab. But then, yeah. But then there was Bam who just lost it. You know, rightfully so. He lost his best friend. Yeah. So I mean, it, it's a shame. I yeah. thought he was coming back. I thought he was. You know, I thought he he was good, and then got kicked off the set of of Jackass. So what are you gonna do? But I'm sure that that kind of opened up bad wounds for him anyway. It kind of. I don't know. It's a double edged sword. Yeah, because he shared in that success with him. I mean, they were together since the CKY days before Jackass. And to see that that kind of progression, I, I I just last week went through all of the Jackass stuff that I have one, two, two point five, three, three point five, and to see that progression and you know them getting older and whatnot. Out of everybody, though, like I, I agree with you, Ryan Dunn is my absolute favorite crew member, but. Bam Margera does tend to get some of the best footage just because of like his balance and how he carries himself because of skateboarding and whatnot. Well, I would say that that's that was more of a uh, MTV thing, being like, "Hey, we can market the shit out of this guy, so we need him in X percent of the movie." You know, yeah. he's got his own TV show, so his contract says he should be in at least forty five percent of this movie. So we need him all this stuff, you know, and. That, that's at least my interpretation of it because if you look on the business side of things that's more than likely what it was yeah because like that high five the best one was bam margera it's just like by far he took the yeah. fall like he would as a skateboarder <laughs> bomb, you know he dropped it was yeah. so amazing i mean that the clip keeps playing yeah. on uh on on facebook and it's just oh it's, it's hilarious i love it i when i was watching the uh the the best of jackass what was it when they were running through the tasers they had all the tasers hanging in the hallway i let you yeah, have they were doing the tire <laughs> run yeah yeah there we go bam yeah. took the hardest fall and i feel like everything i've seen from jackass it was like bam always takes the hardest falls i'll tell you what jackass 3 was pretty amazing that was some of the most outrageous now i haven't seen jackass 4 yet um but i think the third one was they, they went over the top that was that was some of the best footage they, they captured and that the the electric avenue is part of that my favorite um what was the other i had so i have to say and you brandon knows this my wife knows this she makes fun of me i'm terrified of snakes but that snake pit scene when Bam falls down and they drop all the snakes in there, 
was hilarious and terrifying. But I think it's possibly one of my favorite parts too. Just yeah. And Bam's Bam's terrified of snakes too, isn't he? He is. Um very terrified. Yeah. I felt bad for him. I can't help it. Like I, you know, like it it does make you laugh in the moment, but you feel so bad for him. Yeah. I, feel I mean so like bad I said, for a I, lot of them. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it depends. You know, it's kind of funny though how it is when they're filming and all that they talk about how much they get fucked with on on set and uh and it just seems like sometimes they gang up on one or the other it, it sounds like dave england and uh danger aaron are like the least favorite of the group sometimes well they're probably the ones that say yes to everything just because they're not being um i don't know invited places more you know what i mean like, let's say look look at the, the core that's up there you have john you have knoxville you have steve-o Pius, wee man and bam right those are like the top fives and you have everybody else around them with preston dave england novak um yeah. everybody else you know you have, you have you have all the kind of like almost extras if you want to put it that way and i mean if i was in their position too but like, yeah let's go ahead and do it come on whatever do i get more screen time sure let's go ahead and do it yeah because you know? some of the gnarliest like the gnarliest one is so far because like i said i i haven't even seen jackass forever yet but when they extract Aaron McGay's tooth. Oh, the Lamborghini tooth pull. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I yeah. can't, I can't watch it. I can't listen to it. Like, no, that's that's a fear of mine. And for some reason, you know, it is way too gnarly. I, uh, I mean, just <clears throat> watching these guys and and uh, like me as sort of an outsider of the whole thing. Like, I wonder how much of it was like the the participant was an un, unwilling participant, just like. like gets thrown into a, a, a prank that they had no idea was happening just so they could get some extra footage. It'd be like kind of how like the first one was with the, with the, uh, the clippers and they would do uh, the jaws theme behind it. And they come yeah. up behind yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. and clip their hair. And uh, a lot of them would get it the worst. I think Aaron might've gotten the worst in the first movie. Um, we man got it pretty good in the first one. Yeah, he got it a oh, couple yeah. times. Yeah, yeah he's like, wait, 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 check it out real quick and got him again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love that too. Like, I, if 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 I if I were ever to be on a movie set, I think that would be the one trick I'd play on people. It was just getting rid of the back of that the neck or something because I think that's hilarious. Yeah, like the crew members and stuff. Yeah, that's by far. So well, they definitely uh, upped I know, up the game. I, I know Paige can't hear us, but if she just like ran up behind you with some clippers right now and just. Zzz, That'd be fucking hilarious. Yeah, she wouldn't do that. No, no, not not because, not because I would be upset about it. I think she'd be more upset that she did that. You know what I mean? Because she, but for the sake, <laughs> for the sake of video documentation, <laughs> she would not. She would not. She was she was contemplating whether or not she actually should hit me there. So she's such a loving wife. Yeah, I know. Well, how about instead of all the violent acts, what's uh, one of the grossest ones? What is one of the grossest uh, stunts? I would say the grossest thing, and without seeing Forever, um, Jackass Forever, the grossest by far is the um, Three Six Mafia scene when they're drinking the cow jizz or the horse jizz and then the horse shit. That's yeah, nope. I, I literally skip that every time. I can't do. I can't do that. When I, when when that one came out in theaters, Dad and I went and saw it. And Chris Pontius is like, "If I drink this, I don't have to do anything dangerous next time around." And then when he does it, I'm just, <laughs> I can't even drink my own drink because I'm sitting there going, "I think I'm gonna puke." Like I'm in the yeah. theater, never in my life thinking that I was gonna puke. And then he drinks the horse semen, and I'm like, "Yeah, oh, Johnny Knoxville, I feel you on that one." <laughs> Yeah, that was bad. What about um, you? The uh, uh, wasn't it a fart helmet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. It didn't really go as planned, but yeah, <laughs> that one was hilarious. I I, a... I I don't mind that one as much. I just um, like I I sitting there and I'm like, I've smelled my own farts, but then like having to be contained inside, like you could always escape. Yeah, but having it contained, just like Buzz Lightyear helmet style, fucking tube straight into it. Yeah, like Rocket Man. Yeah, and and it's completely different. Like if it was uh, 
like someone else just farting in my mouth. The one like right under that would have to be the uh, um, what is it? The sweat cocktail. Oh <laughs> no! Yeah, that's the number two right there. Nope, that was that's in this one. That's in Jackass Three, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That and the helmet one, and I think maybe the semen one too. I can't, man. There were some really gross ones. I'm just like, I gotta fast forward, gotta skip over that. I think that's <laughs> the only ones that I think of whenever it's just the grossest. But the overall is Pontius drinking the yeah, yeah, that's- yeah. No, thank you. Um, I did watch the scene again when like a Jackass one when Steve-O snorts the line of wasabi, and it's not bad. I, like. It's not gross or anything. When he pukes, it's gross because he's just puking up all green shit. Um, but it was more like it was just painful to watch him do that, knowing how hot wasabi is. Mm-hmm. It was and just like you, yeah. and you won't even be able to breathe when you're doing it yeah. up your nose like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it should be clear for a while. But you know, like even with his <laughs> uh, stand-ups, he'll do he'll do some wild stuff on his stand-up tours. You know, like he'll put uh, get hot sauce in his eyes and stuff. Still does that. So stuff. so so crazy. Um, He's a fucking psychopath. What are some of your favorites? I got to tell you, uh, one of my favorites is uh, especially in the first one is when they take the golf carts out and Johnny Knoxville takes that really big slam. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great one. <laughs> um let's see i'm trying to think from all the series i also like in the second one all right whenever they get jason taylor out there in miami on the bridge and they got mm-hmm. wee man strapped to uh to oh, preston, to, to preston. And the, bungee <laughs> the <jump>. human bungee <laughs> and then he and then preston comes down and then just pulls wee man down yep. right into the water that was that's pretty yeah i was gonna say i think my favorite um you just told me you made me lose my track so i was uh, God, what was it? I just had it. Now I can't remember. Brandon, you go. <laughs> uh, I was. I, I saw the um. Uh, my life with a jet engine, and just like oh, yeah. uh, Ryan Dunn sitting in a chair and just getting blown away. Yeah, along with yeah. all of the furniture that they put out there, that was pretty fucking funny. Just like imagining how strong, because like I don't know how he sat that long before the fucking jet engine actually pushed him away. Yeah, my favorite is the um. Uh, God damn it. Now I get distracted. And I can't remember. <laughs> oh, the, the, the branding. <laughs> oh, the Dick, yeah. Br- Dick oh, branding. Oh, my God. Dick so Farm great. done. <laughs> Dick Farm done. <laughs> yeah. I think oh, Dunn just went down. There's the hand. Dunn just went down. <laughs> Dunn goes down. <laughs> Dunn my, goes down. One of the most memorable ones, though, after his death, uh, Dick House did a, 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 they let a lot of the cast and crew talk about Ryan Dunn after his death and some of their stories. And Johnny Knoxville, one of his ones, and it's one of my favorites, is that um, that riot gun in the second one with the yeah the rubber balls that oh uh, it's the third out. one five hundred no it's the second one is it <clears throat> this one? Yeah. oh it was this one no it's the second one and it shoots out at five hundred feet per second so Johnny Knoxville is gonna do it <clears throat> but uh, Ryan and Bam are backing out they're like oh man this is too gnarly and Johnny's like this is it's just gonna be loud it's gonna hurt but it's just loud trying to talk him into it but what they didn't show was when johnny knoxville goes to the van he says i'm sitting in the van and ryan comes up to me goes are you really gonna do this and not and johnny knoxville goes yeah he goes well shit i gotta do it too man yeah and i thought that was such a game changer like why not show that kind of thing like yeah we see them getting scared but they ultimately get talked into doing it so it would be kind of cool to see that sort of thing to like really respect it at the end of the day they're scared as hell to do it too they're not just doing it for a paycheck you know oh absolutely yeah that's definitely a side that you don't get uh you don't you don't see too often um but i think what i love the most is like what's on right now when bam gets slapped with with the giant hand it's it's not just the the actual like stunts they do but it's the pranks you just got laid out <laughs> yeah it's the best fall out of but everybody it's, yeah, out of everything yeah it is the best fall he's just down uh, but i think it's the, the pranks is something that set the show apart from everything else because i mean who, well who was it um dave Anglin who got who gets hit in the face with that blow up I don't know if it's in this one. Oh, or it yeah, yeah. The, one, the you door, know? Uh, it's just completely knocks him out. You know, it's, it's stuff like yeah. that, I think, is what really set it apart from other shows. No one actually had a, there was no like prank wars at the time. Prank wars came much later. You know, punked yeah. was was an afterthought of Jackass. 
you know, so this is just, it, it just really set things apart in the end. Yeah. And they're always expecting it. Yeah. Or some of them not even, you know, some literally like with the giant hand weren't bam gets laid out. He wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah. So it's always stuff that were, or the, like the rock. They had like, they had like a rabbit who just like walked by and didn't get hit. Right. Like they had someone, they had someone who just like walked by uh, and got off scot-free and then the hand came at, at, at the target. Yeah, I mean, they, they were, um, it, it like, Johnny was holding on to the hand. Yeah. So, and Wee Man is playing, like, the the, the instigator there. He, he's giving them the sign, like, oh, when he's close, you know, he, he does a motion, and that's when Johnny releases the hand and smacks him, you know? Yeah. So, it's not like the hand censored anything. It's just, as soon as, like, there's probably, like, a marker on the floor, and as soon as Wee Man saw it, he would do, like, oh, hey, oh, hey, man, and put his hand up. And then that's what it would slide, slide out yeah. and slap in the face. Well, another thing slapping us in in the really face is, uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. What? <laughs> yeah, we got less than a minute. Oh, geez. Well, fuck. Well, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We've got a link for you. You can see all of our content from there. Uh, we're on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Heroes Podcast Official. Find us on there. Follow us and make sure to get in on that Batman giveaway. Yes, the Batman giveaway. Brandon, I think in the video you 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 explained give it a little give bit away, further. Give away, give away. You, you did a lot of explaining of what you had to do. Basically, all you have to do is follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and then like and share, and then the password, which is uh, Charizard. And uh, so for for prizes, if you don't remember, we have Dark Knight's medal from Grant Morrison and Scott Schneider. Amazing volume, amazing issue. We have the Jim Lee. Dark Knight Beauty Canvas poster. Um, one of my favorites, Loot Crate exclusive Joker Batman. And then the absolutely terrifying and everybody's new favorite villain, the Batman Who Laughs, the Build a Figure set for Miracles. Um, this is pretty cool, right? Uh, we're also offering two free tickets to see the Batman. Um, doesn't have to be open at night, it could be at any point. We're going to give you the money to go to go do that. But um, it's pretty exciting. Enter into the giveaway. Yeah, uh, we'd really love to give this stuff away. We'd really love to uh, be able to do more giveaways in the future. So please, entry. I've, I've literally been, I've been sitting on this for an entire year. You probably and should Josh, have sat on it. Josh, as my witness, I bought it. I remember, Josh, I purchased it at Target. I was like, dude, I have the perfect giveaway item. And we we Maybe ever did we just with expanded it. on it yeah so now it's like you know you're getting all these cool features on top of it including the dark knight's metal where this came from so enter into the giveaway <laughs> we, we want to give it away seriously would it help if we signed the stuff uh it probably would decrease the value extremely especially well, why are we giving it away because of we're crazy boys <laughs> <laughs> Holly Shore for the win. There it is. Um, yeah, guys. So I mean, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. I really hope that, uh, really hope that someone enters so they they can win this. Even if one person enters and that one person wins, so tell your yeah. friends. Yeah, tell your friends. And the secret password is Charizard. Charizard, not not Charmander. You know, he's so cute. Not Charmander. Not, not Charmeleon, because he's the moody teen of the group. Nobody likes him. Charizard, because Charizard's a badass. I like Charmeleon. He's the volume two grouped. <laughs> there you go. Volume two group. Perfect. <laughs> well, guys, um, somewhat successful jackass episode, even though we ran out of time really quickly. I wasn't yeah. expecting that. Yeah, uh, we'll definitely have um, to make it a part two someday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe after we see Jackass Forever when it comes out, which already came out, but you know, came out comes out on DVD or something. Definitely DVD. Yeah, okay, Grandpa. I that was more directed towards Josh because Josh is the <laughs> DVD guy. I do everything digitally. Okay, so yeah, I'm a physical copy kind of person. Yeah, yeah. He, the other day he's like, dude, I just picked up this VHS of of Godzilla. I'm like, Josh, you, they, they they go on discs now. Yeah. 
You don't did need you, to do the tape anymore. Did you okay boomer him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty no much. one knows what you're talking about, old man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this was a fun one. I think it opened up with a real, uh, a real hit in the face. And um, yeah. And we leave you with a good kick you, in the balls. She hit you so you hard, go. you forgot how to start the podcast. I went a good like four minutes without actually doing it. You're correct. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, it's been fun. We'll see you on the next one. Later.